Have you ever wondered if time travel is possible? What if you could meet your young grandfather and accidentally stop him from meeting your grandma? This is the heart of the grandfather paradox. Imagine using a time machine to go back in time and prevent your grandfather from meeting your grandmother. It raises a huge question. If he never meets her, then your parent isn't born, and neither are you. So, how could you have traveled back in time? This paradox challenges the very notion of cause and effect, suggesting that traveling to the past could disrupt the timeline in unimaginable ways. Now, let's switch gears and think about traveling to the future. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time moves slower the closer you are to the speed of light. For instance, if you were to travel in a spaceship at 99% the speed of light for what feels like a year to you, decades might pass on Earth. This is a concept known as time dilation, and it's not just theoretical. It has been observed with particles in particle accelerators and GPS satellites in orbit. Physicist Stephen Hawking suggested that actions like preventing your grandparents' meeting might create alternate timelines or parallel universes. In one universe, your actions prevent their meeting. In another, everything might remain unchanged. The block universe theory, inspired by relativity, suggests that past, present, and future all exist simultaneously. If this is true, then every moment is already laid out and what we perceive as time travel might just be us moving through a landscape of time that already exists. However, traveling to the past presents greater theoretical challenges than traveling to the future. Most physicists argue that while moving forward in time is supported by relativity, moving backward could violate fundamental laws of cause and effect, leading to paradoxes like the one where you prevent your own existence. So. Is the grandfather paradox proof that time travel could rewrite history or just a fantastic puzzle waiting for future science to solve? What's your take? Brilliant science or pure science fiction?